Nobody can say that the battles on our stretch of the front line are not hard fought. The enemy threw everything at our forces that he had at his disposal, including some rare T-50 tanks. However, not only did we manage to hold the line, but our tanks with some daring assaults managed to completely rout and decimate the enemy. Defeating the enemy's assault and capturing Pelesci at the same time was a huge success for our forces. There is no rest for our tired soldiers. Our northern force will try to clear out some forests and swamps to set conditions for an advance on Vyazok. Hello there, and welcome to another episode of our Raging Bridger campaign in Gravity Team Tactics Mios Front. Today we are going to fight this battle that you see unfolding here. And I really do hope that the Soviets do not manage what I did to them last time when I was severely outnumbered and still somehow managed to beat them at Pelashi down here. So, I think this will be interesting. We have two depleted Soviet battle groups, but also two fresh ones, and I don't know what they are. Maybe there are some tanks here. I myself do have quite a lot of tanks and a lot of infantry. So, I think we will be able to do this. See you on the battlefield. And this here is our battlefield for today. Now, let's just start the battle straight away and I'll talk you through my deployment while um, the first things start to happen. So, the enemy will be deployed inside of uh, these forests here and these swamps. Yes, the area is very swampy. There's a big swamp in the middle. So... That will be interesting to see how we will manage to control this. Because, yeah, this battle is going to be about control and, of course, about wiping out the enemy. By the way, did I forget to tell you guys to hold your fire? Apparently I did. Um, <laughs> okay, you know what? Do hold your fire, please. Same with these guys. Yeah, it's you, you, and you. Hold your fire for now. I'm telling everybody to hold fire because I want the enemy, if they are foolish enough to start movements here, I want them to potentially come close to my unit so that I can ambush them again. That's something that always works very nicely. But here's the plan. My main objective, if we look on the map, is to capture this area up here. I really need to capture this one. If I capture this one, and even if I don't capture this one down here, the enemies who are in this area will be encircled in the next turn and will be far easier to take out. I do, however, have a big advantage in artillery, in tanks, and in infantry, probably in all things. So I'm feeling pretty confident that I can wipe them all out. In three minutes, these units here will start to move into the woods and they will clear out this area up to here. Something is shooting, possibly. Huh. I don't know what I'm hearing here. But okay, they will move into these woods, um, capture this, these woods and establish control over this swamp here and this open space here. Under fire, who? Oh, we do have enemies nearby. Well, looks like they just killed an enemy officer. A commissar. Nice. Always a nice thing to do. Enemy contacts out here in the open. Okay, that's fine. We leave them there, but I think I will tell this unit to hold fire again for now. Yeah. So, I have a few artillery strikes scheduled to happen here, and there comes one of them. <laughs> nice. Um, after 15 minutes, oh look, there are enemies coming out into the open, that's exactly what I wanted. And somebody is shooting, so they have spotted my units. I think in that case I need to tell everybody to open up again. 
Yeah, there's no sense in letting them shoot me. Uh, we spawned. Yeah, you're not having a great day, are you? Anyway, in about 10 minutes... Oh, there's a gun. There's an anti-tank gun. Interesting. In about 10 minutes, a heavy artillery bombardment will have flattened this forest. And the smoke screen will be deployed out here in the open. This is when units that I'm holding in reserve here in this forest will start to assault this forest here. Everything is already pre-planned. So that will be interesting to watch. And I do think I'm getting mortared here. I have a mortar somewhere. And of course they have that annoying anti-tank gun. Let's see if we can maybe involve more units in this. This unit, open up please. See if you can do something to that gun before it causes too many losses on my side. And something is being shelled quite hard. Not sure though. Yeah. Somewhere a mortar is shooting at me. But I think now my mortar is in return shooting at this anti tank gun. And they're really not having a great time here. Looks like the majority of the crew is already dead. And the rest will soon follow if this continues. Good, 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 good. Very good. Oh yeah, they are shelling this area in the forest back here. They are uh, previous positions. Back there in the distance you can see Azvisha. Which is nice. Peleshi is over here. Our previous battle was fought in uh, in this forest down here, if you can remember. And up there in the north is Slepino. Slepino, of course, um, I'm having some units here, just to make sure that no enemy sneaks in while I'm occupied in this direction. Okay, but this infantry has started the offensive move together with the tanks. Okay, stand up, come on, get in position. Together with the tanks they will advance into this forest. Fire adjustment failed over here. Well, that's okay. That's perfectly alright. The enemies here are offering some resistance. How is this artillery strike going? Should start to land pretty soon. Yeah, there come the shells. Kaboom. That's good. That's very good. That will hurt. And it will pin down the enemies. Also, it looks like they're being displaced from this forest over here by intense artillery fire. It looks like they're pulling out of the forest, which is perfect. Oh, the enemy is shelling my units. Am I taking losses? I think I am. I would not be surprised. This is going straight in between my soldiers. Yeah, that's some heavy fire. Look at the trees flying here. My god. Is everybody alright? You're just stunned? Okay. I too would be stunned after this. Okay, the enemy is making an effort. I like that. On the northern side, my units are moving unopposed, which is interesting, certainly. These guys stand up and get a move on. We don't want to lag behind. Panzer 2s, 
moving together with infantry. I feel like this is a good place to deploy the Panzer twos. If they are supported by infantry at close range, they should be able to fight well inside of a confined space like a forest. I wonder if I should start to let machine guns and guns here in this tree line fire on these enemies. I think I'll wait a little bit. Oh damn it, there's mortars. Targeting a machine gun, causing losses. Yeah. Enemy mortar. They must have spotted it. Uh, that's hurting. But dear machine gun, you are free to open fire now. If you survive this, that is. More enemy artillery raining down over here. Damn. I have to be careful, I might lose men over here. If they continue with their artillery like this. But very soon, my attack plan will unfold. this. Oh, look at this officer here, with a submachine gun. That's a nice sight. He doesn't see anybody currently. What are the enemies doing? Um, nothing. I think these guys are doing nothing anymore. That's a surprising amount of casualties, I have to admit. We might be able to take this little forest without resistance, because I feel like the enemy is pulling back deeper into the forest and into the swamps. Which would be the absolutely correct... Oh my god, that's big enemy artillery over there. The enemy has some big guns stationed somewhere, and they're raining fire down on me. Thankfully, wow. This is completely missing, but damn. I hope they don't adjust this. Well, my artillery... Jesus. My artillery is doing its thing as well, so I guess we're even. And it looks like my advance here has stumbled upon some enemies. And they have taken him out. There were two guys in this foxhole and they are both dead. That's nice. Okay, hold position there for now. It looks... No, there's more shooting. It looks like you have control of the swamp here. And this guy should ideally come back. Oh yeah, this machine gun is... ...avenging itself on the enemies. Putting some good suppressive fire onto them. This is great. Still, my artillery is messing them up. There's actually an enemy position here just on the edge of the swamp. Multiple enemy positions inside of the swamp. The swamp can be a good defensive position because my tanks can't really go there. However, I have a lot of infantry. So I'm really not too worried about this. 
And when I control this little forest here, I will control this swamp and I will control this big open space here. Even all the way up to there. So that will be very nice and will definitely help me to bring this battle to a quick conclusion. Now it's only a few more minutes, one more minute, until the uh, major attack down here starts. So we'll watch out for that. Uh, I might have to cancel an artillery strike down here by these guns. They're shooting far slower than I anticipated. And I, of course, don't want my units to walk into this. But we'll see. For now, everything is going well. For now, everything is going absolutely well. Okay. I could have some of these units push into the forest, secure the flank of this unit. That would not be a bad idea. These guys will have the honor. Please do push forwards. Um, that's fine. Do it. Also, of course, you're free to engage now. Okay. Yeah, the units are now starting their movement. I will have to check with the artillery there. This strike, the second one, I have to see if I can cancel this. And by the way, how's the smoke screen going? Should start to arrive, right? Pretty much. Smoke screen should be deployed right about now. Well, soon. It should be deployed very soon. Preparing, okay. Yeah, that will all happen mostly just in time, I think. Also, these tanks are starting a move to support from the flank. Good, good, good. There's the smoke screen. You can see it in the distance. Okay, let's watch this. Or is it? No, that's not the smoke screen. I was mistaken. It was just more artillery landing. But the smoke rounds should start to arrive right about now. Oh, the first artillery. There they are. Okay. In that case, infantry group. That is advancing. Go. Start to move. Also, everybody here is allowed to open fire now. Same goes for everybody here. I have a problem. I cannot cancel this fire mission. Ah, that's bad. It's 
we scheduled artillery, I cannot cancel it. Uh, and there goes my plan. Damn it. I can of course not have these infantry guys push into this forest while my artillery is landing there. That would be a disaster, potentially. So the smoke screen is already starting to dissipate. I've discovered more enemy units here, okay. While they're being fired at, I better get a move on with um, these forces here. You can start your move in this direction. I will have to stop my infantry here, unfortunately. Very unfortunate. I misjudged the timing on the artillery strikes. Stop where you are. And stop where you are. Please don't go in there. It wouldn't be good. It really wouldn't be good. We have to wait for this artillery strike to finish. It's very unfortunate. But it's okay, things like that happen. Oh, the enemy is bringing more artillery to the table on that flank. My tanks were parked over there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's good that I moved them. These guys were parked over there. Look at that. My god. Is there another salvo incoming? Or was that all? That was it? I'm a little disappointed. Come on, Soviets, you can do better. Okay. I do have more tanks that I can start to push up. Some of them are very much damaged, so they're of no use. But these Panzer IIs, uh, this looks like a job for them, to be honest. Okay, Panzer IIs, you know what you'll do. You will... You will go fast. You will go very fast. Just like so. And do drive up here. My tanks with their machine guns are absolutely annihilating the enemy, as expected. So I guess I can start more movement up here, although I see enemy movement has been reported in that forest. So I cannot simply push through the swamp here, that would be dangerous. How much room do I have here on the side? I do have some room to push around here. And yeah, my units have definitely discovered enemies over there. Probably scouts. Apropos scouts, I do have scout units here that I could use just for this purpose. Not you, where are you? Um, I did have scout units, didn't I? Here they are. I could use these scouts to go around... Oh, what did they find? Uh, some commander. Could use them to go around the flank. So that's exactly what I'll do. Uh, these scouts. You will move up to here. Double line, move slowly. Don't use the roads necessarily because there are none. 
Uh, do I want you to move covertly? I think I do, but don't move fast. Yeah. Go there. And after you arrive there, you will be free to open fire. And you will go to here. That's your mission for now. Wow, we're up here. The guns that I position in the tree line are doing a fantastic job of keeping down the enemy. Awesome. This is such a nice view. I really like how they implemented anti-tank guns in this game. It's so awesome. These things are so useful. And the graphics, I mean, look at this. Look at how much smoke they are throwing up. Dust, smoke, fire. Really nice. Really, really nice. And they are putting some hurt onto the enemy here. Which will serve us well once this artillery strike here has finished. It's halfway completed. Oh, there's an enemy anti-tank gun sighted. Uh, that's a problem for my Panzer II's actually. So if somebody could take that out, please. Maybe I do have some mortars that are sighted in on that position. Or some artillery guns, possibly. Wait a moment. Somebody has to have target position nearby. Yeah, this group of mortars could do the job. Oh yes, they will respond very fast and very violently. High explosive, give me... Uh, give me five per gun. And... Let's call it in. Oh, that artillery landed. Uncomfortably close to my own units. Is this gun engaging my Panzer IIs? I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, looks very much like it. They're engaging my Panzer IIs through the trees. But in about... A minute and a half, they should start to receive fire that will suppress them. Panzer II's will be able to get through, I think, if they don't get killed off in that one and a half minutes. Oh my god, this is tense. Will they get one of my tanks? Unit lost? Who is lost? Why are you lost? Who are you? A machine gun? Oh, that's the machine gun that was already pretty much damaged. It looks like it was completely defeated. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, the Panzer II's are still on hold fire. And I don't want to take that off right now. Because I want them to keep moving for now, while that anti-tank gun is still not suppressed. I don't want them to stop and to fire at something. Although, if they should get to this line, I think I have to allow them to fire because... They are very much getting in range of that gun then. Come on, where's that mortar fire? Still not there. Yeah, okay. These guys have to be allowed to open up. So yeah, act with caution, fire at the gun if, if able. That gun will actually be your priority target. So try to take it out. Yeah, okay. It will suppress the gunners at least. Yeah, it's working. And my mortars are starting to land. Oh, I didn't see that they're arriving. But this is good. This is very good. 
I just hope that at least one mortar shell hits the target. That would be very nice if somebody could land a direct hit on this. I can see if I have maybe another artillery option that can take it out. And this might just be it. Where's the spotter? Over there. Two minutes. Hmm. With adjustment fire. Five per gun. Might. Oh, one of the tanks was hit, I believe, by something. I think... Oh, they're shooting them with mortars. I think it's fine. Uh, five per gun. Is that too little? Could be too little, but we'll try. Panzer twos. What are you doing? That gun is still suppressed. Excellent. But the Panzer twos really need to keep moving because they are being targeted heavily by mortars. And a mortar can take out a Panzer II with a direct hit. Yeah, they're looking to suppress this gun. Good job so far. The artillery mission here into this forest is still ongoing, so I still cannot send the units across. I really mistimed this strike. My bad. It's still arriving. It's making some big holes. So far, so good. Who the hell are you? Ah, you're with the scouts. Where the hell are you going? You're trying to move covertly and you are really messing it up. In that case, just move like this. Before you get yourself killed over there. For no reason. Did I order smoke? No, I did order high explosive. Oh, right, I did plan another smoke screen. Yeah. Nah. That's not working right now. But I did plan another smoke screen to deploy here at a half hour mark so that my units that deployed here um, can support another push that's coming into this forest over here. Unfortunately, that did not work out, but it's okay. We'll make new plans as we go. We make new plans on the fly. My tanks are still shooting at that gun, which is absolutely amazing. I believe they are shooting at everything. And can't combat, who can't combat? Uh, this machine gun over here. That's a different one, right? It's, is it the same? I thought you were dead. Well, you still seem to be going strong. Anyway, the smoke screen is landing and these shells... Well, they are landing near the guns, so the crew is once again suppressed by this. And by all the machine gun fire they are receiving. So that's fine. This tank. Move up to here. You move up to here. Disperse a little bit. Good. Ok, 
Okay, what are my scouts doing? Uh, making some weird movements while they try to stay concealed. But I am optimistic that it will work out somehow. The scouts will be perfect to see if there's anything over there on that side. To establish a nice flanking position. And to support more units pushing through. That sounds like more enemy artillery somewhere. Not sure where though. But over here my big artillery strike finally seems to be completing. So only two more rounds need to be fired. There they go. That means I can finally, finally have these units advance as I planned originally. You will single file and let's go. And the other unit, same thing, over here. Go get that first. Looks like my tanks are receiving mortar fire. Let's reverse them. These tanks, they need to come forward. Help out a little bit. There they come crawling out of the grass. Very nice. Fighting. Nice. Nice visuals. Very nice. More artillery keeps hitting the enemy and gradually forcing him back. That's how this was planned. Scouts are moving across. I have to keep an eye out for what is happening. Artillery strike over there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, was the enemy anti-tank gun taken out? Unfortunately, that's a no. But I'm confident that my infantry that is now advancing into the woods here will be able to put some good fire onto them. This is going well. This is going very well. So up here, I do have some artillery spotter nearby. Yes, this guy. I think I want him a bit nearer to the guys here so that he can put some artillery fire down onto this position. Sounds like a reasonable plan. Uh, please move to here. Artillery fire. Uh, just where my tanks were parked once again. I escaped just in time. Yeah, my tanks are advancing very nicely. So I do have some few more tanks here that could try to advance through the woods or maybe just here out in the open and then support a push into this forest. Let's try that. I want you guys to go here and then there. Also, you're of course free to open up now. OK, 
Okay, situation is looking good. We are putting more pressure on the enemy. Not executed. What was not executed? Oh, it's nice that you are not telling me who did not execute an order. But the tanks are driving, so I guess I'm fine. Scouts over here are alright. The artillery spotter is moving up. So far, so good. We seem to be smashing the enemy. Uh, one of my Panzer II has an issue. He's running out of ammunition. That's certainly an issue. How can you run low on ammunition? Okay. So it's good that my Panzer III's are coming in. They will have to take up the task of the Panzer II's here. They're well suited for it. How is this guy? He is still alive. He's wounded though. And these guys here are standing by. I'm surprised that they can't see him. They will very soon take him out. Look at that, my artillery just keeps raining on them. Keeps suppressing them. Keeps making life miserable for them. Okay. These guys are arriving in their position. Nice. Yeah, please put some serious fire on this enemy gun here. Otherwise I will have to call in more artillery. Maybe I should deploy one of the... One of the spotters. Where's this guy? Oh, that's this one. Okay. Where are you? You are... Over there. You have no use to me right now. You are over there. That's still too far. You are here, so that's somebody we can use. You're also there. Nice. Uh, let's actually use this guy. Do me a favor and come closer. Let's make sure that this anti-tank gun is disabled before my tanks keep pushing into this area. I have a feeling that this would be a good thing to do first. area. Well, kind of. There we go, that's perfect. Okay, give me five per gun. With that accuracy that should be absolutely sufficient. Call it in. This gun is going to get demolished. In a little bit more than a minute. Oh, look at this, all these enemy units here. I do have mortars sighted in on this position, right? More or less. Give them my compliments. Actually, they seem to be moving into the forest, so cancel this. Get it onto the edge of the forest here. Good, good, good. So far, so good. This is really going well. It really is. Looks like over here we are simply suppressing the enemy a little bit. Um, no accuracy for the artillery observer, unfortunately. It's too deep into the woods, apparently. But alright, the scouts made it across into a position from where they can support. They took no losses while doing so. So that's fine. Oh damn, this gun is now getting punished. The battery started to fire. So I expect them to be dead very soon. 
and over there it looks like my mortars are starting to land. Oh yeah, this gun is pretty much gone. There we go, that was a good hit. That looked to be pretty much on the money. It landed just behind the gun, so I believe that crew's dead. Okay, tanks. I want you to move into here now. I know this is a swamp, but I think you can still move through here. And you will be able to put some nice pressure onto the enemy. Uh, do go fast, do go there. Afterwards, I can also have you move up on the road. Maybe that's safer. Because when I look at this, this doesn't show right now. I can't see the area right now. Let's see. Yeah, this area here is unsafe. This little swamp thingy here. Look at these enemies trying to run away. While well, this group is now going to attack to this position. You guys are going to attack to that position. There come my mortars, nice. These units up here, I want you to start to move to the edge of the forest here. So far, so good. The enemy is offering a ceasefire. I'm not prepared to accept this at this moment. These tanks, after you're finished with their targets, continue to here. Okay. Now that this infantry here has set up the position, have you deploy there. And you guys, I'll have you deploy here basically. Deploy in defensive positions, spread out a little bit. You will cover the movement of the next unit that goes across. I do have some juicy units still in reserve that I can use. just push through. I'd say the first stage of my operation has been achieved. We have secured these forests here on this side. We have secured the forest here in the south, which gives us control of the swamp. Now we need to expand our control to the big swamp in the center. For that I need to have infantry here in this forest, I feel. So you guys over here, now's your chance. Uh, how do I move you across? Do I just walk you or do I want to you to maybe drive something? Do you have transports? Not really. No, you don't. You really don't. Okay, in that case, I think you walk. I think you will walk. Move in here. Second unit. Same thing. Move to there. Afterwards, set up defensive position. Okay. They are now on the move. I will move the rest of the unit up once they have established themselves over there. We'll do this very methodically. Just pushing the enemy back bit by bit. Now, do I have enough units up here in the north to make a push through these forests? 
Or do I deploy more forces? Who do I have here? You should move up. You did move up, so you should too. Panzer twos are here. The scouts. You still need to move over there. I feel like this unit should now move, make a move across while the scouts are maybe holding a defensive position there. Yeah, let's do that. This unit. I want you to just make a quick move across this open ground. You will run. You will run in no particular formation. Just run in there and then set up a defense in that direction. You're of course free to open fire. My tanks are pushing into this area just as I planned. This Panzer 3 has to be a little bit careful, he's getting close to the swamp. But it's still going well. These units here are securing the space here really well. And they are my infantry over here. They are marching across the open. It's not ideal, but it will be okay in this situation since we secured this approach. And then, afterwards, the infantry that was previously covering here will leapfrog and move up. Something like that. Or maybe I'll just push the sides, stay in the forests, not uh, push the open. That might also work out really well. We will see. For now, let's focus on this area over here. I think this is going well. I think this unit will be able to make good progress. Also, this unit actually has flamethrowers. <laughs> we didn't see this one in action yet, because it's hard to use them. It's really hard to use them. They get killed so quickly. And the unit is so small, only three guys. So, they really get killed quickly. You ideally want to save the flamethrowers for, for some close quarters combat, like for example in a town or in a really dense forest, or at night, or something like that. That's when they can really do damage. But the problem is just to get them close to the enemy without them dying. It's not easy. Oh, we discovered an enemy gun! Oh, that's nice. There's a gun position. Oh, well, they are set up in a decent position, I gotta say. It's a nice ambush position for anybody trying to take this little path here. Well done! But you see, these scouts that I have here, they are now getting on your flank and... Well, actually, they're getting behind you. So... You are not going to be long for this world. You are going to be dead. And that's all right. You will have accomplished everything I wanted. What else is here? Do I need to move these guys up? Who else is here? That's just the spotter. Yeah, I can move this guy closer. And those are a T rifle team and flamethrower crew. Yeah, these two units can move up as well, why not? Okay, it has become very quiet now that we've cleaned out this forest. So 
So I believe it is time to put more pressure onto the enemy. Let's do it. These units. Oh, there's still artillery raining down. And I cannot stop it. Yeah, okay, I have to wait a little bit for that. But that's alright. In the meantime, I believe that this engineer unit together with the Panzer IIs can start to advance in this forest. Uh, how do we do this? You, 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 and you. Actually, I don't want the AT rifle to go along. Don't want it to get killed. You. I want you to attack. Now, let's assault. Single file. Dense formation. Do not go fast. Infantry is moving behind the vehicles, tanks in front. And that's how you will get across here. Form up with the tanks and start to move. This enemy anti-tank gun is having a really bad day. Oh, what? They're trying to shoot at my guys. But my guys are getting close. Look at this brave soldier here with his MP40. And you can hear the Panzer IIs actually in the distance. That's nice. Can you toss a grenade at them, maybe? Do you have grenades? Ah, uh, you do. Are you close enough? Apparently no. But please do toss a grenade their way. They will be able to take out this gun. There goes another one. They are sniping them one by one. Nice. Please continue. Uh, that artillery of mine is landing... Ooh, uncomfortably close to my own units. My god, that was, that was close. Are you stunned now? Well, not really. You are fine. <laughs> okay. Why not? But maybe, just maybe, losing an artillery gun up here, maybe some other units up here, will cause the enemy to retreat. Oh, they are still trying to shoot at my guys. Some of them are still alive. Amazing. Okay, I need some units to assault them. Uh, who can do it? These guys might be able to pull it off. Please go fast. Just go get them. Yeah, they keep losing men. They are well suppressed. Now is the time to just rush them. So these combat engineers will form up and perform the task. However, the enemy gun might be dead before they manage to arrive there. explosive ordnance. Oh, now they're running away. Yeah, they're running away. They they broke. It will not help them, however. Yeah, there goes one. Nice. Okay, they're losing that unit.
Ah, there's another gun. I knew it. Oh, they are suppressed. And they have combat engineers coming at them. Combat engineers that do not take prisoners. Oh, he's dead. Oh, they are moving the gun. Will they be able to fire it? Well, for now they are really... F oh, it happened. I didn't even notice. <laughs> oh, they retreated. That's great. Go away. Okay, so... But that means that they will be able to keep this gun. And that looks to be the last enemy unit that was on the field. Actually, I really expected more from the enemy in this battle because they had two units on the field that were supposed to still be fresh. What happened to those? Let's have a quick look. Uh, let's have first a quick look at my Panzer twos. Did they get damaged? Hits received, yes, 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 there was some shooting. Let's have a look. Okay, I don't know what that is, I think just a grenade. And apparently one of my own guns took a shot at this thing, probably because it was, it was driving in front of it. It's fine. Hits received, you got hit. You, the one who's almost out of ammunition, you were hit by a rifle bullet. It's alright. Yeah, okay, everybody's fine. Everybody's absolutely fine. So what did the enemy have? I'm curious. I really did expect more. But it looks like they didn't have that much. Leningrad Infantry School units. Riflemen, they were destroyed. Some mortars. Whole mortar platoon, in fact. Ah, these were the mortars that annoyed me. 50 centimeter mortars. Not too terrible. They are relatively small by Soviet standards. Are those German mortars? Not sure. Okay, Sepa Company. The command. Dead. Uh, Anti-tank guns, of course. This one is dead. Oh, this one was even crushed by something. How did that happen? Where is this? Over here. Well, I don't know how that happened. Well, wait, that was the... Wasn't this the one that we attacked in the end now? No, that's here. Okay. So this one, how did you die? Oh, whoa, maybe you got a high explosive charge thrown at you. Okay, what else do they have? Forward observer for 122mm howitzers. So those were the big booms that we saw out there. Here was the observer, his position. Good position. So there's, that's no wonder that he was able to target my tanks. More riflemen, more anti-tank guns that have been knocked out. Nice. Telephone and cable, dead of course. And more anti-tank guns. Of which one is still alive. With four crew members remaining. Huh. I don't know, somehow I expected much, much more resistance from the enemy. But maybe those units that we saw on the map, marked with a question mark, maybe those units were not fresh after all. Maybe those units were already depleted, and that's just what I mopped up here. So I guess, let's take a quick look at the casualties. I lost 14 men. The enemy lost 87. What did they deploy? They deployed 107 men, and only 11 remained. 90% losses. Damn. Okay, I guess in that case, let's return to the operation and see what happens. And here we are. 
The battle has been won, battle groups have been defeated. Some of my units are a bit fatigued and we have pushed back the enemy, opening up the way to Vyazok basically. I honestly don't think there's too much remaining in between me and Vyazok. Although there was a mention of an enemy counterattack, so who knows. But we might be able to take Vyazok during the night or early next morning. I doubt that I'll make it in the afternoon. Or in the evening. Hmm. We'll see. It would be nice to capture Vyazok, of course, but... Yeah, there are still a lot of enemy units all around here and I have to be a little bit careful. But with that all said, this here will be the next battle that we fight next week. And you can see I have some battle groups, the enemy has some battle groups. It will be interesting. So, I hope that this was fun. And thank you for watching. See you again next week. Until then, have some great days and goodbye.